We have a quick review here that's a little bit off of our normal beaten path, but nevertheless, I think it's still a very useful tool if you're in need of a portable power station. Baffery is known for their DC power stations. Typically, they're a lot bigger. This is their Nano, and that was one reason why I was really interested in it. I personally don't have any need for those larger stations, so when I saw that they offered the Nano, I asked if they would send me one, and they did, so that I could play with it and share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about a few features that this has. It's not packed full of a bunch of features, but I think it has some unique things that I enjoy, and then we'll talk about why I've been using it and why it's been so beneficial for me. Inside, the manufacturer claims it has a 31,000 milliamp battery, and that's almost 100 watt hours of runtime. It can output a combined 145 watts. Now remember, watt hours is over time, and watts is what it can deliver now, so it can put out 145 watts of power at any given time. And you're probably not going to be surprised that a device like this does have PD output options on those USB-C ports. If you don't understand what that means, it basically means that the output voltages of the USB-C ports can vary based on the demand of the device. Back in the day, USB ports only put out 5 volts. Today, that voltage can vary all the way up to 20 volts. There's some negotiation when you plug the device in, and this battery is capable of sending to that device whatever it needs. Everything is clearly labeled. It's not really complicated to figure out what's going on here. This is the display button. It turns the display on. Obviously, this is an in or an out port, meaning it can charge, but you can also charge the device using it. This particular port is capable of 45 watts out. There is also a USB-A port, and located on the top is a built-in retractable USB-C cord. It is capable of receiving or delivering up to 100 watts. If you want to charge this using a solar panel, they do give you a barrel to USB-C connector. That way you can plug this into here and you can charge this using a solar panel if you would like to. And solar input voltages are 12 to 26 volts at 5 amps, or basically 100 watts. The built-in USB-C retractable cord is a kind of a nylon-coated cloth connector. It is a little bit on the heavier side, but that's good because you don't want it to break, but it also can carry that high current that it needs to. In the fully extended mode, it measures about 28 inches, and when it's retracted, it does have kind of a neat little feature. It kind of magnetically keeps itself in place. Looking at the display, it gives you some pretty cool information. It gives you the input value, that is whatever you're charging it at, and it will tell you how much time is left before it is fully charged. Right now, we're not sending any juice into it at all, so it doesn't know how long it'll take to get to 100% because, well, we're not charging it right now. Obviously, this is the percentage of the battery. It is currently 92% charged. And the side on the right side is the output. And we're not charging anything, so it says 0 watts out, and it's guesstimating we have 99 hours of runtime. Now, for me, this has kind of changed the way that I operate. And let me explain that I do edit a lot of my videos on this particular laptop. And this particular laptop does not do so well when you're editing videos as far as battery runtime is. If I'm lucky, I may get 45 minutes to an hour, and then I have to look for a place to plug in or I have to charge it again. But the one thing that this laptop does let me do, and I am grateful for it, is it does allow me to charge it by the USB port. Not only can I charge it by the USB port, which is what I am doing now, as you can see it's charging, it's pulling 25 watts, I can run the laptop while it's charging or while it's plugged in. And what I've been doing with this is I've been able to do a little bit of traveling. I've been able to be in some situations where I was on lunch break or I was sitting at a fast food restaurant and I've been able to use this battery to run my laptop and it does just fine. And at 92%, we're gonna be able to run for 3.1 hours, 3.2, it's kind of bouncing between the two and is pulling 25 watts. And at the same time that I'm charging my laptop, I can also plug my cell phone in and keep everything charged. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. I think it's extremely handy, at least for me, for somebody that's on the go and we don't always have access to regular outlets. Well, this will keep my laptop charged. And it's been doing it so for quite a few weeks now. I've been heavily using this and it just works. It works really well. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.